Thanks for joining us for another exciting episode of Film Reels. We're going to be interviewing local actor, writer, and producer Karina Craid of Craid Made Productions. So put the kids to bed, kick someone in the face, because we're going to be coming at you and you're going to love it. Right now! Andrew? What? What's with all the flyers? They put one on everyone's car outside the fitness center. Who? Um, the Stuff Your Face Pizza Place next door. Grand opening today. Dude, I love Stuff Your Face Pizza Place. Andrew, do something about this. About what? I'm sorry, but I am not working overtime to shrink our members' backsides just so they could go balloon it back up at the Stuff Your Face Pizza Place. This is not good for the brand. All right, well, that was Karina Craig in Off the Scale. Yep. So what was that like in that production? <laughs> that was a really cool production. We filmed overnight in the Madison area. Um, I got to play um, kind of this high-strung type A individual, which is not at all me <laughs> at all. Um, so that was a lot of fun, and it was uh, an ensemble cast. So we were all kind of feeding off each other, and it was overnight shoots, which so we were all a little high off uh, caffeine. <laughs> so it was good. It was one of my favorite experiences, I think, uh, playing just an actor um, and a great time with the cast and director. Sweet. And who directed it again? Tim Olson and Frank Summers. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice guy. Um, so, yeah, let's get to know Karina Craid. Where were you born, Karina? <laughs> I was born in New Delhi, India. Oh, yeah? Yes. I was or an orphan and adopted into a family in Madison, Wisconsin when I was seven months old. We were lucky to get you. I was, <laughs> I was lucky to get them. <laughs> uh, awesome. So, uh, so tell us, what was life growing up like here in Madison, Wisconsin? A lot of fun, making forts outside, playing by the lake. Um, you know, I had a great neighborhood full of lots of kids my age. So we were just always running around, just waiting for mom to call us home. You know, <laughs> that dreaded time, just it's time for dinner. Um, dinner. And then I was really close to my siblings, and my, my dad would come home and play with us, make forts. And my mom was a stay-at-home mom, so it was a lot of home-cooked meals and hippie Madison lifestyle, which oh, is really nice. cool. A lot of art, a lot of storytelling, a lot of painting. So it was a really great experience growing up, especially in Madison where it's just, there's so much to do and outdoor stuff. Awesome, awesome. So would you say that from the story, the creatives and storytelling and stuff like that, would you say that was what kind of influenced you to? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, my dad would spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes every night telling us elaborate stories, using our friends and stuffed animals as characters. And um, my mom was really into making um, art projects, clay, puppets, anything for school, making dollhouse clothes. Um, so I was surrounded by art. I wouldn't say, like, we were the most artful family ever, but we <laughs> definitely tried to be, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so I grew up a lot with that kind of stuff. And uh, definitely then going into filmmaking, I, I think that definitely had something to do with that. Did you make any films when you were a kid? Absolutely, yeah. I spent <laughs> way too much time. You know, it's so funny. I look back at, like, the times I made. I would get all my friends together and we'd make, you know, home videos in my basement. And, like, normal kids would be, like, in the woods making out and stealing their parents' wine coolers. <laughs> no, we were making movies. <laughs> You know, like the old Magnavox VHS recorder, and like our editing system was the record, fast forward, stop oh, okay. on the side of the oh, nice, camera. Nice. So we'd like look at the little screen, and that was how we edited everything. And we would take like our my parents' bed sheets and soften the lights on my mom's lamps, so and make scripts on you know just writing scripts and making props out of stuffed animals. And I remember we had this keyboard that had sound effects on it, so like clapping hands and doors. And so I mean, yeah, we we made. Um, Man, I have, I have nine full tapes of scripted work um, from anything to like real world skits to MTV shows, commercials we even did. Um, <laughs> nine, ten hour tapes that we actually have. Nice, nice. A lot of fun. So, and you get, those are in the memory box, right? And you save those for yeah, all time? Yeah, I hide them. I hide them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid they're going to be used against me someday. Uh, but they were a lot of fun. I mean, like I said, uh, we were not normal kids. We, we wanted to... <laughs> Be filmmakers back yeah. then. And then surprisingly, everyone became professional adults and have real <laughs> <What>? jobs. <laughs> what? And I'm still a struggling filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> so somehow, yeah, somehow I just stopped growing up, I guess, or decided not to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, you went to college, though. So where did, where did, did you go? I did go to college, yeah. I went to Whitewater University. Nice, yep. nice. And what did you study while there? Um, education. Education. Um, yeah, in an emphasis of creative writing and theater. Okay, okay. Um, were you involved in any clubs or anything? 
you know, I think so. I mean, <laughs> like, so much partying, yeah. I don't remember anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I, I think I was a part of uh, some uh, English uh, sorority, and like, I get all the newsletters from them now. <laughs> uh, but I don't remember going. I think I went to one meeting. It was like a Scrabble-thon <laughs> or something. But uh, no, I really wasn't big on clubs. But I... Uh, I was very, very interactive with, um, you know, poetry groups and stuff like that. And so I don't think it was so much a club, but I was very active in going and attending, seeing theater that was being done in Whitewater, um, any beer pong tournaments, <laughs> stuff like that. I was very active in those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Clubs, but uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of uh, studying, though, too. Studying, too? <laughs> well, good. <'cause> <laughs> <laughs> studying in college. Did, didn't drink your way through Surprise, college. Surprise, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what productions have you been involved with? Uh, did you get involved before college or during college or after college? Um, I guess, you know, it's funny. My progression of filmmaking was definitely, you know, middle school. I did all this fun stuff. And then, you know, high school came about. And, you know, you're too cool for anything. And then um, college came and I was like, okay, I like theater, but I don't want to freak my parents out too much. So I'm going to be a theater minor. Oh, okay. That's a joke with theater minors is that <laughs> it's like, it's like we kind of want to be actors, but we're not going to scare our parents too much. So we'll be the minor. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And we still have to do a lot of the same stuff. But um, And then what happened is, I, it's ironic, the last month of my senior year, I auditioned for a 48-hour film festival. Ooh. I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> um, and I just, a, a guy in my class who had been doing film for many, many years uh, had come back and decided to do a 48-hour film festival and I went in for the audition and I got the lead role nice and I remember like the theme we picked was like like Animal Farm it was so dumb <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like this girl who like had a relationship with a cow and it sounds really bad but yeah. like, you can find it if, you, seen that movie. if you YouTube it <laughs> yeah. you can find it. I'm not gonna like tell you what the name of it was but, okay um, it was a great experience because everyone involved were really really professional really wanted to create a set where it was like a real set and um, I learned a lot and then yeah. I kept working with the same people because they were awesome and uh, great writers great filmmakers great directors and then I was like oh my god this is fun um, <laughs> I want to do this more and so then I would just kind of dabble with student films little things and then I started writing my, on my own nice. and, and then before you know it I ended up you know doing it just for, immersed into it yeah just doing it <laughs> <laughs> So, um, how far along was it before you got involved with the Bod Squad, which is where I met you? That is where we met. Yes. <laughs> You're right. Um, let's see. I think that was something I found through a friend. They were casting for, you know, a girl in her 20s, and I went to the library downtown and auditioned, okay. and I had met Sarah and Amy, and um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I think that was... A year and a half after college, okay. you know, again, it was during this time where I was, you know, teaching, but then, you know, kind of playing with this idea of, of maybe being a filmmaker actor. And I, I remember I was too scared to admit that I wanted to do it, but doing things like the Bot Squad kept me still in the game or yeah. still, you know, how I call it, studying. Like, yeah, to yeah. me, it was, you know, being part of art, but then also studying. Um, and Listen, and we and you met uh, and you worked with Tim Town, who we had on here a couple of weeks ago. Yep. He's a pretty fun guy. Yeah, he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> Not he's in our tall. interview, he wasn't. He was like as tall as me. <laughs> movie magic. Yeah, mu movie magic. <sighs> uh, yeah, I worked with Tim Town. He's a pretty cool guy. He's a good guy. Um, okay, so you eventually started Craig May Productions. I sure did. Tell us about how that came plug about. In. Yeah, plug in. Yeah, are you gonna put my logo in? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I start, okay, so I started Create Made, um, you, to backtrack a little bit, I had uh, decided to move to Chicago to pursue it 100%. Mm -hmm. So I was actually living in Chicago and then got the opportunity to work on Hulu's Battleground um, oh, yeah. for three months here in Madison, Wisconsin okay. with uh, J.D. Walsh and uh, Mark Webb. And that was an amazing experience. I got to work with real professional people from L.A. and New York. And um, I got to see what it was like. I was just extras casting. <laughs> so I was like, really just in the back. <laughs> you know, I was decorating the back with uh, human bodies. No, yeah, That's why I, I started to make it really elaborate and um, <laughs> fancy. But uh, really, I just cast like 700 people during the three months, um, and they just walked back and forth. Yeah. Uh, but what happened is then they, they all left, and there was like maybe 10% of us left from the actual Madison area yeah. that they had hired. And um, after they left, it was like this wave of like, wait a minute, we want to keep working. Yeah. And um, I just kind of took that opportunity to kind of grab hold of these people and be like, hey, let's let's get together. I mean, they had already been, a lot of us had already been kind of working together. In fact, a lot of them were off the scale people yeah. that we had then worked together on 
the battleground. But then um, what happened is I was like, you know what, let's start really making some more stuff. And I, I started writing some scripts and sending it off to the director of the battle, ba not battleground, I'm sorry, off the scale. Mm -hmm. And he and I started collaborating and we kind of got a team. And I was like, okay, this is called Grade Made Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds really cool. And, <laughs> and then before you know it, you know, we found ourselves completely immersed in this feature film and that was I started Crade Made seven eight months ago we started working together about a year year a couple months ago so it's it's a baby company but we've done so much yeah yeah in one year that um, we're kind of just you know, we're excited, but it got started because we just we were just a bunch of Madison filmmakers that were like, "Hey, let's make cool stuff yeah. while we're in between our freelance, you know, jobs." <laughs> I and, love it. Uh, I yeah, love it. yeah, it was cool. Okay, so that's how Crave May came to be. Yeah. So what's Crave May doing these days? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we are in post production for our, the feature film we did, Oranges, nice. and um, you know, that's a lot of waiting. You know, on a producer side, it's just kind of just like, okay, this stuff has to be done by this time. It's you know, the creative people are the editors, color correctors, um, sound people, mm -hmm. sound mixers, and so that's now their time to shine. Yeah. Um, and we are working on some stuff for maybe you know nine months down the road. Um, we're always kind of doing collaboration. Yeah. Um, we're going to be collaborating with a production company from New York in May. Nice. Um, and you know uh, we're going to be releasing a, another short in a couple weeks. So we're just staying in the game. Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. of us kind of moved. Yeah. <laughs> that was a sad thing. Like everyone just went to LA, and I was like, wait, that's not. That, yeah, it's not that's what not you what, do. what we were doing. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> People got to move on, but I think ultimately, Crade Made is just trying to make good films, good good um, shows, good films here in Madison. I like it. Bring I like it, it a lot. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what's your favorite movie? Oh, no Garden, pressure. Oh, Garden State. I already know the answer. Garden State. Yeah, I like Garden State. Why do you like Garden State? I liked how the film process was done. Uh, Zach Braff mm -hmm. uh, wrote it, starred in it. Um, that's kind of what I do with Oranges, and then he, you know, he uses community. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Goodwill Hunting's up there. Love Actually. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, I, like yeah. I love the the format of that. So yeah. Really cool. um, let's see. Uh, Where are your questions? Judy McBride for MTV Fashion Show. Today we are going to be judging some of your favorite celebrities. I, we went through <laughs> them all already. That's the thing. Um. <laughs> Can I talk too fast? I no. do that a lot. This is MTV Live with Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. What's it? What is it like being? Known as the devil worshiper. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think I'd wrote enough questions. That's the problem. Um, so, what? What? Uh, so what, can you talk about any of the projects that you have in the works, or, you, or is that very kind um, of hush hush right now? Yeah, it's a little hush hush. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't talk. Yeah. Toes. It's gonna happen. Shh. Um, so, what? What? What do you want? What do you see is going to happen <laughs> in kind of like the Wisconsin or, or Madison kind of like film community? Do you think that? more people need to get together and... You know, I think that people need to start showcasing their work here. Yeah. Um, and then more work is gonna come. And uh, what's amazing about Madison is the talent here. You know, I mean, there's amazing talent everywhere. I mean, everyone can kind of fight for their people. Yeah. But uh, we got a really nice handful of people and I don't think people know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, we have great locations. Um, and a lot of them are free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no yeah. charges you. Yeah. Uh, which is also really great. So, I mean, I guess I would just like to see more storytelling done here by Motion Picture. Yeah, yeah. And aren't you showing uh, oranges at one of the Madison Underground screenings? I believe we are. <laughs> yeah. Are we? It's going to be like sometime in the, in the fall. I okay. can't remember the exact date. But yeah. yeah. All right. I love it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So that's uh, the plug for Madison Underground. Too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. We'll do it for sure. <laughs> um, and let's see. Uh, anything else that you want to share with how awesome you are? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, I mean, I just, you know, it's exciting to even have something like this to, t you know, have people talk to local filmmakers yeah. and, um... That's kind of the big idea that we're trying to go yeah, with. Is, yeah, yeah, I think you need a good list of some people to talk to, too. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's exciting just to be integrated with, uh, you know, local filmmakers and, yeah. and see that work being done here and... You know, I had a conversation <laughs> with someone the other day and they were, and we were talking about film and they're like, yeah, there's not much of a, of a community here in, in, in Who said Wisconsin. That? Yeah, a, fr a friend of mine <laughs> said that, and I was just like, oh no, there's a lot going on. They're just like, I don't think that's true. And I was just like, no, I know people who do it. Like, and I yeah, think that's the thing, is yeah. that it's, it's so underground and so behind the scenes that 
not a people a lot of people are aware that there's just a lot going well, on. Well, yeah, and I mean, I don't think there is a, actually a lot. I don't <laughs> well, think yeah. a lot's the right word. There is stuff going on. I mean, my experience with pre-production in with oranges was that um, I didn't have a lot of money. Uh, you know, our funding came from Kickstarter. Um, mm -hmm. It's a big one. For it a lot is of a big one. It's, you know, it's like your dad yeah, starts yeah, yeah. it and ends it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Kickstarters are like that. Yeah, um, yeah. But. Uh, what I found is that when I started talking to the community and being like, hey, I'm a filmmaker and this is what I'm doing, people would just be like, Here, here's free coffee. Yeah, or, yeah. Here, let me feed you for a day. And like, they were excited to hear about filmmaking. Yeah. And so I feel like if we can use that, not use people in our community, but use that excitement um, because it's such a foreign, it's kind of foreign here, I yeah. think. I mean, there's enough that it, there is a community, but there's not enough that, you know, and, and people hear about us and they get excited. Um, I was, so so blessed to have our community literally fight for my film um, donations support um, so much amazing stuff and so uh, that's why I think Madison's a great place to come for filmmaking is that people want to see filmmaking here yeah they want to lend a hand um, or a bag of coffee um, <laughs> and uh, they want to see you guys you know see us do well and um, and it, it's a town of art, yeah. you know, not just filmmaking. Yeah. Um, and so that's what's kind of cool about the collaboration here and, and just to see the community of Madison actually really fight for it. Yeah, it's yeah. really beautiful. They it's want like, it. Yeah, yeah, they want it. <laughs> they do. I think they do, you know. And so that was, that was easy for me um, to go around and say, hey, I'm a filmmaker and this is what I'm doing. All right. Um, well, thank you for Karina for being thank here today. Thank you. I'm really excited to see oranges. Uh, <laughs> me pretty, too. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you keep us updated on what's going on, and I will. We, we would love to have you on here I'll again because you. you're you're a fun person to be <laughs> to talk with. <laughs> you're fun too. Thanks. <laughs> well, okay. So that's been another exciting episode of yes. Film Reels, and uh, this is Karina Creative from Oranges. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you sometime soon. <laughs> do what Did I do. Some uh, I lost some hair, so yes. <laughs> You got that on tape, right? Yes! <laughs>